Hey, what's up everyone? Richard Aguilar is back to show you another amazing video. So brace yourself to explore the impressive landscape of China's new infrastructure, revealing innovative engineering marvels that define the nation's progress. In this video, you will see China's recent mega-project accomplishments, showcasing exceptional super-engineering expertise and prowess that even other big countries were shocked to find out. The majority of high-speed railway routes in China are strategically constructed on elevated bridges. This approach is underpinned by the expertise that these railway bridges offer enhanced safety, seamless functionality, and a stable operating environment. One of their significant merits lies in their ability to occupy significantly less ground area compared to traditional subgrade methods. This aspect proves especially critical in densely populated, developed areas, where space optimization is imperative. By spanning across landscapes, high-speed railway bridges not only ensure efficient transportation but also exemplify a pivotal solution for accommodating modern infrastructure within confined urban settings. Engineers in China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region have achieved a remarkable feat by completing the construction of the Yachang Bridge's towering main pier, standing at an impressive height of 155 meters, setting a new regional record. This pivotal achievement paves the way for commencing the construction of the bridge's upper components. The Yachang Bridge, spanning 2.3 kilometers, boasts two expansive spans supported by a network of 95 piers, including two that soar beyond 150 meters in height. Positioned as a cornerstone infrastructure endeavor, the bridge is a vital component of the Leiwang Ma Expressway. As construction gains momentum, a tantalizing glimpse emerges of a monumental 940-meter trestle bridge located in the southern reaches of China. This unfolding endeavor signifies a remarkable acceleration in construction activities. The bridge, with its extensive span, promises to be a testament to engineering prowess and innovative design. Its imposing presence against the landscape hints at the extraordinary scale of this project. This sneak peek offers a mere glimpse of the intricate workmanship and dedication driving the construction process. Following a dedicated effort spanning 17 months, the principal hull framework of the Haiyang Shiyu 122 Floating Production Storage and Offloading Unit FPSO, has reached completion. This significant achievement takes place in Qingdao, situated in the eastern expanse of China's Shandong Province. Notably, this FPSO unit stands as a pioneering development in Asia, distinguished by its cylindrical design. As the construction phase transitions, the unit is currently engaged in the meticulous processes of assembly and integration. This juncture marks the fusion of various components into a cohesive whole, exemplifying the intricate amalgamation of engineering expertise and cutting-edge technology. Nestled within the southern province of Hainan, China's inaugural commercial aerospace launch site is rapidly taking shape.
This monumental endeavor, initiated in July of the previous year, is on track to host its maiden commercial launch in the upcoming year. The site comprises two launch complexes tailored for liquid rockets, both nearing completion by year's end. The gradual emergence of the fixed service structure within the first complex attests to the project's steady progress. Envisioned as the hub of a launch pad, this structure is slated to ascend 11 stories and reach an impressive height of 83 meters upon completion. China's indigenously developed third-generation nuclear reactor, Huolong-1, has transitioned into large-scale production, marking a significant stride in its advancement. Forecasts indicate that by the conclusion of the 14th five-year plan, 2021-2025, more than 10 units of Hualong-1 will be operational, as affirmed by experts within the industry. Distinguished as China's proprietary creation, Hualong-1 stands as the nation's third-generation nuclear power innovation, characterized by its exclusive ownership of the technology's intellectual property rights. Gaining widespread acceptance globally, it adheres to the most stringent safety protocols and incorporates cutting-edge technical standards. A pivotal segment of a vast water diversion endeavor has commenced trial operations in the eastern province of Anhui, China. This ambitious project focuses on redirecting water from the Yangtze River, the country's longest river, to the Huaiha River. The strategic implementation of this initiative holds the potential to address critical water resource challenges and enhance water distribution across regions. By initiating trial operations, the project initiators are testing and refining the intricate mechanisms that facilitate the efficient flow of water thus ensuring its successful integration into the existing water infrastructure. In a significant development, China's West East Gas Transmission Pipeline has successfully initiated its upgrading project, achieving a substantial increase in the annual transmission capacity of coal bed methane within Shanxi Province. The recent announcement from Pipe China on August 14 highlighted the project's success, with an additional 1 billion cubic meters of CBM annually being transported. A noteworthy facet of this undertaking is the upgraded Qinshui compressor station, which holds strategic importance as a supportive element for the growth of China's largest CBM field. That's the conclusion of our video for today. Hope to see you again in my upcoming video.